Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is the start of my playground project. Friends, it's time to add a teeter totter. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, if you have not started this yet, there will be a card up above that will get you to the first lesson where you make the sweet spiral slide and staircase. You can also visit hlmodtech.com. This is one of my multi-project lessons. If you click on the Tinkercad Playground, you can find all the lessons, starting with the spiral slide, then the swing set, the teeter-totter, and then finally the challenges at the end. Today, we're gonna make a teeter-totter and we're gonna build it like this. All right, friends, so the first piece is gonna to be to build with a block. When you bring the block out, make sure you understand we can click on this corner so we can see it from a corner. We can do F to fit view. You can hit minus to zoom out a few clicks. I need to have you able to navigate for this to work as well as it should. Let's choose a thickness of three and press enter. Let's go to the radius and type two and press enter. So this makes it rounded so it's safer for the kids. This black handle lets you stretch it. It says 39 on my screen. Yours will be different. I want you to type 100 and press enter. If we hit that F to fit view, you can see that's a decent size. We're gonna change it from 20 to 15 though and press enter. That my friends looks a lot like a teeter totter. The next part of the project is to cut out where the legs are gonna be of the rider. We're gonna do that with a whole cylinder. Please bring it out, hold down your shift key and stretch it to wackadoodleville, but then I want you to type 12 and press enter for the correct size of it. I want you to hit duplicate, and then we're gonna use shift arrow key to nudge it over 10 millimeters. So it was supposed to nudge one millimeter, but because we held shift, it moved 10. I'm gonna click it one more time, and I'm gonna do shift 10 and move it again. So if yours doesn't look like that, just hit delete, click back here, and do the duplicate again. And remember it's shift arrow and then shift arrow again. We wanna take those two and we want to group them. Look above the word shapes. If it says two, click group and you're good to go. We wanna grab all of that. This is called selecting. We will select a lot of things. We wanna click align. Notice it said two shapes. We're gonna make the board the master and we're gonna choose middle and we're gonna to go to the end. This time, friends, I want you to do shift click and move it one spot in. So if you look at this from above, that'll be where the people's legs fit. We're gonna hit duplicate, which once again is control D. This time we'll move it with the arrow keys down here. Remember shift arrow keys moves it faster. And then we're gonna select these two pieces, click align. Don't forget to make the red one the boss. And we want to connect it to the end. And then remember it is shift on the keyboard, one arrow key in, and friends, you have just built your sweet teeter-totter board. Just like that, you've got a teeter-totter board. Next, we're gonna add a post for them to hold on to. Click the work plane and click on top of the red piece and bring out the cylinder. Hold down shift, stretch it with one of the white handles, and then type three and press enter. Let's use F to fit view. Let's use minus to back out a couple and let's make it taller. If you roll your wheel back, we want to change that number to 12. This will be one of the handle pieces. Notice if you move it down, you can see that's where the handle would be for the rider. We're going to click duplicate, which once again is control D. And then we need to rotate that duplicate. If you keep your mouse touching the orange piece, it lines up really easy and it goes to 90. If not, you can click the box and type your 90. I'm gonna use control up arrow to raise it up. And friends, that is your handle. Let's make it easier to grip by turning on bevel, press two and enter. And on the other piece, also do a bevel of two and enter. You can even make it a little more cool by hitting the segment box and typing 10 and typing 10. Now let's click the first piece, hold shift, click the second piece and group those two parts. We need another one, let's move it to the other end. So first we're gonna hit duplicate, which is control D, and then we can shift nudge to the other end. Now to align these perfectly, I'm gonna do one more shift nudge to this side 
and then I'm going to shift select to group those. The reason we did that is because of this. If we grab that part now, we can click a line, we can make the board the master and do center and center and now it is aligned perfectly. Pick a color that you think is cool. Make sure you change to something better than mine. I'm gonna make mine a purple. I'm gonna make my handles a custom. Let's go out in the blues and find something kinda cool. Take the whole teeter-totter and group it once again, making sure that after you group it, you turn on multicolor. Put your work plane back on the ground so for this to be a teeter-totter, we need to put it on something. Let's put it on a roof. When you bring the roof out, notice it's not looking the right direction. Hit this corner view. If you need to, hit F to fit view. And then we need to find this rotation handle. And notice if I stay really close to the green shape, I can snap to that 90 really fast. I'm going to roll out or I'm going to zoom out with the minus key. And I want to change the height of it. 220 and the rest I'm gonna leave the same I want to put a little cylinder up here to connect the teeter-totter with we're gonna do that by hitting work plane and clicking on the edge of the green triangle bring out your big old fat cylinder hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville and we're gonna type the number 4 and press enter I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground and then we need to change the size of this shape. Since our triangle is 20, we're going to click on this dude and change its measurement to 24. We are going to turn on that bevel of 2. And I'm also going to make it 10 so it's rounded. And then we're going to click a line. And we're going to make the green one the boss. And we're going to say we want it centered. And we want it at the top. And we want it centered. Take those two pieces and group them. If you want your colors to be separate, you can turn on your multicolor. Grab everything that you've built and click a line. Choose the middle button and the top button. You'll notice that this lines up these tops so it's not tall enough. So let's click on the board and just use control up until we get it to the right height. That is a sweet height, and now we just need to rotate it. Let's make sure this is all aligned perfect by hitting a line, clicking on the green piece and telling it we want it in the middle. And then friends, all we need to do is rotate it so it looks like a teeter-totter. Now if you go one click, that actually works pretty amazing. If you need to adjust yours a little different, you can to find the exact amount that you need for yours. I'm gonna leave mine like it was. And friends, you have just built an amazing teeter-totter for your playground. Friends, a couple quick reminders as you're building. One, have fun. Two, change the colors. Three, these menus have changed just a little bit. Make sure when you're looking for the creations we make and reuse, they'll be up here. Make sure your favorites are here. And then down at the very bottom are the shape generators. You need to switch to all and you need to do more shapes to find all the amazing extra things as you complete your Tinkercad playground project. Another thing I'll remind you, you can find all the lessons out on the website. You can also find some amazing shout outs of projects that were completed by other students I've taught. If you make a project that you're proud of, you can click on this button right here, generate a link, you can copy the link, and you can share it with me almost instantly by clicking on the messaging tool, putting in your name, email, and sharing the link to show me what you created. Friends, I hope you had a fun time with this, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.